Hi, welcome back to another SolidWorks tutorial. So we are going to today have a look at how we go around surface modeling. Uh, so we're going to look at the some specific surface modeling tools. Now, today we are going to specifically concentrate on one, which is the loft tool. Now, the surface modeling tab within SolidWorks is highlighted um, within the toolbars at the top. So if you right click on one of the toolbars, click surfaces and that will bring up the surface model and tabs now there are quite a few different features in here but we are going to concentrate on the loft surface feature today now to loft the surface there are two things that we need we need a top and a bottom plane to be able to loft from and to so i'm going to start on the top plane i'm going to create a plane offset to that so reference geometry and features and a plane I'm going to make a plane 100 high, okay, and just create that there. Now what I'm going to do is create something that looks a bit like a handle just to get us used to using this feature. So what I need to do is create a single shape on the top plane. So I'm going to sketch on that. And I'm just going to, for the sake of this, use um, a, a straight slot drawing. and draw that in. I'm just going to pull it out to the diameter that I want roughly just to create the shape. If I click the center line and the origin um, and on there I am going to hit a relationship between them two and set the diameter using a dimension line 20 mil. It also wants to know the length so I'm going to set the length to 50 and that will create my top profile using the bottom plane so the, the two so the top plane from here um, I'm going to create a separate profile so I'm just going to create a circle sketch on that one starting from the center plane and I'm going to designate that as being 30 diameter okay so i'm going to loft from the circle up to uh, this slot feature this slot sketch um, however to be able to do that i need to have some sort of spline go between the two to give a definition so I'm going to sketch on there, a spline. It goes between the two features. Now I can shape that however I want. Just pull it and manipulate it to whatever shape I want. And I'm going to do the same down the other side as well. But I need to do that in a separate sketch. So starting from my top sketch, moving down, and I'm just going to join that to the bottom there. I'm going to make that back spine a little bit smoother in the front. And you can see it's got two different shapes to it. So this should create two different shapes on the front and the back of the surface model. So I'm going to come out of there. Now, if I go into the surfaces at the top of the tabs and click the loft surface tool, I can loft between the top and the bottom profile. So on here, it's asking me for the profiles. So I want to select the top profile and the bottom profile, and that will create a surface straight between them two features. Now, to be able to get some sort of shape to that, I need to add in some guide curves. And these are the two lines that I've drawn either side of the model, these two splines. Now, the more you add in of them, the more shape you can get to it. But for this, we've just added in two. You could add in four, one in each quarter, and that would give more defined shape to the model. And I'm just going to take that there. And that's how we create a lofted surface shape.
Okay, so in the next video, I'll be looking at how we do boundary surfaces. Have a go, try this, and then come back and see us again.